guys welcome back to my channel and this is young womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyles self-care homemaking and working from home so if you like that type of content make sure to subscribe today we're doing my reset for may i can't believe that we are already in may that is crazy <laughs> and i'm just gonna share how i get planning for the new month so without further ado let's just jump right on in to this video this is my planner from target you've seen it before so what i'm first gonna do is reflect on april the month of april was very busy as i'm looking at all of the stuff that i was doing i had some traveling because I went on a work trip and then I just have the month of April is birthday central for my family. Most of my family is born in April so lots and lots of birthdays. <laughs> my goals for April were to drink one sugary drink a day. One thing I realized, I talked about this in my last video, is I'm trying to eat healthier, have a healthier lifestyle and I typically just go throughout my day and don't even think about what I'm consuming and you could ask me what I ate for lunch and I couldn't tell you because I just eat what's in front of me and it's very just not very intuitive. So what I realized when I did this goal of one sugary drink a day is it was making me start thinking about oh well I had a coffee this morning so I had caffeine and sugar then maybe I shouldn't have a soda with dinner tonight because that would be more caffeine and sugar so I realized that about myself maybe if you're also trying to eat healthier that is something to think about is being aware of what you're eating will be a good thing so I did that successfully also I just kind of extended it to be one sugary drink one sweet treat a day because i would just have way too much sugar between those two things whether it's drinks or sweet treats so that is what i did what i wasn't successful with was my posting a tiktok every day and i definitely want to be better at that this month because even if tiktok does get banned if you haven't heard about that you can read about it online but i still want to put my best foot forward to try and grow on there as much as possible so while it's still around at least but those are my goals for april we've moved to the kitchen table because i'm going to start planning may i have two trips in may i've been traveling way more than i expected i would this year it's making me really tired. I like traveling a lot, but I'm going to places that I've been before or that are not that exciting. So it's kind of a bummer because I wanna to go to cool places I've never been. But you know, you take it for what it's worth. So I'm gonna first put in important dates in my planner. I already have the traveling dates, but anything else I can think of, I'm going to put in there. So I put in important dates for church, for plane rides, friends in town, birthdays, all that good stuff. Then these highlighted marks on the numbers are 
the different phases of my cycle so that I can track them. I really like this because then it can help me plan my week. If I see that I'm going to be on my period, I may not want to hang out with anybody and I may want to wait till the next week to plan something or something like that. Maybe I'm in my ovulation phase and I'm ready to hang out with everybody. You never know. So I like having this so that I can just kind of figure out how I'm going to be feeling ahead of time and it helps me plan my life better. So I did that. I have my book of the month, which is Iron Flame. Going to tackle that beast and read it. Not really sure what to put for the dog savings because Alec and I both got raises at our jobs actually. So I don't really know what our new savings goal is going to look like now. I haven't gotten my first paycheck with my raise yet. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what that will look like. So next part we're going to put the house projects on this side and we have a lot. So I'm going to write those down. This is a big month for us, so there's a lot. We are starting to car shop. We really want to get a car this month. That is the goal. All of these projects are house projects. We are doing a lot of preparing our backyard for getting a puppy because there's so many holes and things in our fence that a puppy would be able to get through. So doing that, finishing some spring cleaning, looking for a breeder that we like for a puppy. Haven't been able to find that yet. Got to buy a birthday present, got to write a maid of honor speech, and I'm going to update my website, my freelancing website, and all that good stuff. Oh, that was a lot. I'm considering doing the habits portion of this reset a little bit differently because I've been reading Atomic Habits and one of the things he suggested was to do a habit scorecard. I'm only at the beginning of the book, but he suggested rating your current daily habits and the rate is positive, neutral, or negative. So I'm thinking of doing that and kind of going from there on my daily habits. The method that I've been doing hasn't been working for me the last two months. So I want to try something new and see what happens. So I have my journal here. I'm going to write out my daily habits and then do positive, neutral, or negative for them. Here is what we're working with. I have in the morning, I snooze my alarm sometimes, not every day, but sometimes, and that's negative. Spend time with Jesus is positive. Scroll on phone sometimes, that's negative. I work out sometimes, so that's positive. I shower every day, that's just something you have to do. Skincare and get ready for the day is neutral. Makeup is neutral. Pack lunch and get grab breakfast is positive because I am normally eating something healthier than eating out and I'm saving money. Take allergy medicine is positive because if I forget to take it, I have a tough day. <laughs> so make the bed is positive and a morning tidy is neutral because yes, it is positive because I'm cleaning, but it normally makes me late for where I'm going. So it is what it is. Night is skincare and get ready for bed is neutral. 
watch TV. I do that pretty much every day with Alec. That's negative. And then I normally am finishing up work tasks for the day, which is negative. So what I've learned from this is really my night routine is not the best. My morning routine is average, but my night routine needs some work. And I think that's a good place to start. I'm probably not going to set any habits for this month. I'm just going to start being more aware. Like I was talking about with the food thing, just being aware of what I'm doing and consuming because a lot of the times I'm just going through my life on autopilot and I'm not thinking about these things. So that is what I'm going to do instead. That's kind of my plan. I'm going to do a little content corner to share what I've consumed content wise this month. This is something that I got from Hannah Ashton on YouTube. So that is where the idea came from. Obviously, music wise, been consuming Tortured Toes. What? <laughs> Tortured Poets Department. And the album is growing on me. At first, I hated it, but it's starting to grow on me as I keep listening to it. I've also been creating playlists for different vibes. So rather than just like a summer playlist, I have one called sitting in a field of flowers and then I have driving on a sunny day and then night drives sitting at a coffee shop like all of these different activities or vibes I've been making playlists for and putting songs to them and I like that so if you want to be a part of the vibes I'll link my Spotify down below if you want that but anyways now I'm going to share books. So I read The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This was a five stars for me out of the series. I think this one was the best. I definitely shouldn't have waited too long between the second book and this third one because I kind of forgot a lot of things. But once I was in it, I was in it and I was totally loving the mystery and how it wrapped up and it was amazing very fast paced and fun and will keep you on the edge of your seat if you like a good mystery book but not a thriller type also read better than the movies by lynn painter this is my the booktuber that i watch Haley fam her favorite book i think ever like one of her favorites and at first it was throwing me off that it was like a high school romance and i was like eh, i don't really want that but i kept reading and it was just the classic cheesy rom com -y vibes and it wrapped up so beautifully and it was predictable and i love that it was predictable because i just liked the certainty of the ending and it was cute and cheesy and fun and I read books for fun. I rated that one five stars as well. So we had a good reading month between these two. For TV shows, me and Alec are watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I have to say, if you've ever watched sitcoms, we are 20 minute sitcom episode people. That's our favorite kind of TV show. The dramas, we always stop watching because we just don't like the emotional investment of dramas. We want to be entertained and not stressed most of the time these sitcoms can be inappropriate like as far as sexual jokes and all of that stuff but brooklyn 99 is so clean and i'm really surprised because most of them are not like that so if you want to show that you can watch with your family <laughs> watch brooklyn 99 because it's hilarious and it's clean so there you go and the movie i watched this month was Mamma Mia 2. I've never seen it <laughs> and I would say it's good. I definitely like the original better. I, I feel like most people would say that so I probably rate it 3.5 out of 5 stars. Good movie, good music. Obviously that's my favorite part. I almost cried because the music is so good but it's great. So that is all the content that I consumed and to finish off this video we're gonna do some dishes and chores around the house and then tonight Alec and I are going to Home Depot to get some stuff for our projects that I wrote down. So I'll take you along that little trip and I may start the projects tonight. We'll see how I'm feeling. But let's continue this reset routine.
is going to be the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will show you my project. I should be doing it tomorrow, but we just got some soil for it. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye, guys. Thank you.